Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with Gringotts Wizarding Bank by Lego Harry Potter. This is set number 76417. Contains uh, 4,800, three bricks, retails for $429.99, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And yeah, well, we're finally starting on the bank portion, and this is what we have done so far. And. This part here is not too bad. This is actually keeping my interest up to this point. And we did do three figures as well. And in the last installment, we did fix the offset. Remember, there's 31 bags, so I'm going to try to keep this up to 10 installments. So now I'm going to be doing, today we're going to be doing bags 17, 18, and 19. So... And that's essentially what we're doing here. And remember in the last one, this is what we did with stickers. We haven't really even gone through half of these yet, so I have a feeling we're going to be getting hit hard with them. Okay. Bag 17. Let's build it. Let's get right in there and see what we can do here today. Have a heard anything about the hurricane that's supposed to hit, but there's already been drama surrounding that right now. Cracks me up. People get paranoid over something that's supposed to be kind of different out here because the last storm that had was over 90 years ago. All right. Okay, I was thought these were going to be black. We were talking about these doors, and they're in dark brown. Okay, so I got a question asked. Do these fit in this type of frame? Yes, they do. I'll show you. Um, they do fit in that frame. If you want a hole on the side, <laughs> but they do fit. And... Go ahead and... Whoa. Well, that doesn't want to go in there very well. But I do like these new style of doors because they're good entry doors. I just need those in a different color. And we actually, oh, we just got to make two doors. Usually they show the doorknobs going on last, but these are first. It's easier just for me to put them on while they're here. There we go. These make nice closet doors, huh? And for today, I am starting to edit the that last dream set that I got, that late that late review, and then trying to after I get done with that in that that video tour I start working on these <laughs> and that'll be where I'll go so I guess that's the entry point into the bank okay all right so now we're back over here this time and it's like it's just mostly small stuff so I've been looking at ring lights they're not bad around $30. Depends on what kind you're looking for. And I need something that's about four inches with an interior diameter. Because I have two video cameras. I got the professional one. I got this one I like using here. And I need to go around the lens of the camera in such a way that it doesn't obstruct the lens, but it shines a nice light directly into something. Because none of these cameras have a light. And I got to thinking more and more, getting a ring light might be better than buying more floodlights. So if they still have those floodlights on sale, I may buy them. Buy two of those floodlights and a ring light. Just hope I better clear an $80 order. They may have them at, at the GameStop place. I don't know, or I'll have to go to... Amazon, but I, 
I've learned some lessons from the last one that I wasn't really expecting. Like I'm looking for something that has warm light, warmer, cool settings. Some of these ring lights were so fancy that they have the rainbow effect and different temperature settings and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, I don't need something like that. I just need something basic just to work, you know. So we're going to do that. And hopefully I can come up with something. Not It won't be when I do this video, of course, but when I start doing the bigger house tours and stuff like that, I'll have it to where I can film anywhere and have good lighting. Lighting is the key issue here. I had an ex-friend that never believed in the best lighting in her videos and you couldn't see anything. And Like I got this light overhead. This is fine for like this, but if I'm looking at an interior shot with a roof like that, it's dark, you know, and that's what we need a light for. Something soft that will illuminate this side. And when you get the camera, that's, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, you know. It's just I'm going to have to get the parts to do it. I'm going to need a, a brick here to smoosh these down, <laughs> make sure they're all lined up here. And then that's it. We start off right away with the small stuff after the door. Yeah, so, so far, the base of this thing wasn't too exciting. The dragon was okay, but this is a little different here, so. I think this is going to be kind of cool to build. Now, just imagine we're half, we're over halfway done building this thing. You know? After this, this is the sixth installment here. This is, this is a lot of, that's a lot of stuff to build. Sixth installment out of uh, so we're just like I said I've already have it planned out to to do ten of these do ten build installments and this goes here so we're getting ready to build up for some windows here and I. Almost got the rough building guide done of this project that I've been working on. I haven't really been focusing on it because I've got this in the way. I want to do this real quick that I'm going to focus on the guide while I'm editing a video. It's one of these build installments for the dream thing, but I just need to sit back and listen and make sure I'm pausing the video, make sure the lighting's fine, check the video out here and there. and That's all I'm essentially doing nothing too too major and then we're going to have to set these out because we're going to have to put stickers and deface those this sheet here really is going down quick so i'm hoping by i'm hoping that i can get them at least the rough building guide on that michael myers house right when i get the sticker right where it's supposed to be at it wants to move and these are a complete bitch to put on because they're so big that's that's why I'm dinging off another point right now so it's already gonna be a flat eight and we're not even done yet these big stickers are a complete pain I can't even get it on straight today Well, it's crooked. That's why I ding them off, boys and girls. <laughs> you know, I can't. Stuff should be printed, Lego. You, you, you could print the stuff with the crappy Mario sets, but you can't do it for a high end set like like this. But you, oh, we we have the really fancy Harry Potter set, but then we have the. The crappy Super Mario sets, everything's printed, overpriced, so I got a wrinkle on that one there. This may be a, uh, you know, uh, yeah, if it keeps getting me like that, I'll have to ding it down to a 7. And we'll just keep subtracting points off of it until Lego learns and just says, hey, 
you need to print this stuff yeah because I can't even get that air bubble out of that huh? that was the way it was and I peeled it off well hey as long as it's not one of my mocks I don't care <laughs> you know, I build high quality stuff I don't build I don't build stuff with stickers all over it but anyways though to more of the high quality stuff the Michael Myers house that needs to be wrapped up I'm too busy putting stickers on this but We'll get that house project going here. I got that one house project I'd like to start building. And it's just a matter of time. To me, you should not have to fight with stickers though on a set. Stickers is something that little kids put on things. Wait a minute, you know what? There's supposed to be just a brick in there. One of these are a modified tile. This right here. Yeah, I have the angle a little different today, so you get to see more of the action. But, yeah, I know I'm getting a little ranty in these, but... Like I said, I don't like to sugarcoat things. I was really hoping this set wouldn't be... When you buy a Lego set, you don't know if there's stickers involved. And i got to make two of these. You, I really don't know. Is this the Leaning Tower of Pisa? These actually are purposely crooked. <laughs> you know? They're using these uh, little stick pieces here. I know I'm building them off frame, but the manual will show you. And we got to build two more with rounded tops. And I just cannot wait to get the Michael Myers house done. You know, the building guide. I can't wait to share those ideas with everyone on Patreon. Well, Jay, if I'm a member on YouTube, how do I have access? How can I gain access to those? Right now, YouTube doesn't have that option. I've been hounding them like, why can't I put a PDF file included with some of these? And they don't have the means of doing it right now, so what do you do? You just have to, you just have to deal with it here. Boy, this really is kind of crooked, huh? You have to leave them crooked. That's what the book tells you, you know, show you. But I'd like to get that house project done. I got, you know, to kind of get it ready for you guys and gals. Because that right there is going to take, just the parts list alone, to generate a, a working parts list is going to take a day or two. Maybe longer. But I won't know until I get the house built, the guide written up. The rough guide, before I can even get to that. That's the problem, is once you get past the rough building guide, it's not bad at all. Let's turn it right that. Once you get past the rough building guide, it's easy. That's the problem, though, is getting through it. And you saw how this is with all the tiling and stuff. I looked at the rough building guide. That's what you're doing. You're going to spend half the time... And you need one of these here. You're going to have to spend half the time doing that. <laughs> Once you get past the floor, it's real fast. Now, the Michael Myers house is going to have some subtle changes. Like, this version is going to have hardwood floors. It's going to be more finished off on the interior. And it's up to you, the builder, to add the furniture to it. So basically, you're buying a brand new house with nothing in it. Okay. You know, at least it comes with a bathroom and a washroom and stuff. 
I mean, you rarely ever buy a house that's fully furnished. I see the little hinge plate. Yeah, about that storm though. A lot of us are kind of getting excited because we don't ever see storms like that out here. I mean, they said we're gonna have a few inches of rain in a day. Uh, this is going to break a record out here, and you know, and then it started a whole bunch of drama over here, and I thought, no, oh, I doubt it's even going to make this far inland. And you know, some, let me back this up a little bit there. Um, you know how some people are. Oh, I don't want any storms. I want it to be clear. I'm thinking it's been clear out here for the last couple of weeks. I don't think it's going to matter now. But I like it when it's stormy. You know why? Because then I have an excuse not to have to go to work and I can work from home from my bed. I have to get out of bed, although it's too hot, so you want to get out of your bed. But when it's cold outside, that's when I want to work from the bed. <laughs> You know, this is a, I don't know what we're building here. Yeah, so in this installment today, we're just going to focus on three bags because I am I really want to get going on my own stuff today. And then this goes here. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. Okay. These notches here are meant to hold these in, so they're just kind of just doing that. Now... Before I commit to pressing that down in there, first off, it's just not lining up. All right. So I'm just going to slowly tack it in. Remember the hinge here. I'm just slowly pushing things in here. See how this one's in a little bit? you got to be very careful. I need to push that out, so I'm going to have to lift that corner up and push this one back in here. These are just in there very loose. So I don't expect these two to be perfect. I bet there's a well that's just kind of kind of wiggly and am I forgetting that this is what they wanted? Alright. So they show this one here. They don't show this one over here, but I'm assuming it's like that. Okay, and yeah, it's kind of sloppy and crude. Let me take a look at the inside here. Yeah, making sure that's pressed down there. That's kind of crude and sloppy, but that's <laughs> that's what they wanted. All right, well, keep going here. Yeah, I get at it. Get done with this, so I'm gonna look at ring lights yeah we'll look at some ring lights and see what we can get today and then if i can fish one up it may be a while it may be after this set but i mean i'm trying to get the the lighting stuff situated now i also need to look for a a light strip like a rope light i want to wrap one around my computer monitor so when i'm doing the live streaming i have a nice subtle glow so, because I'm going to get back into streaming here. And I think that'd be cool. What am I going to stream video game stuff? Maybe we'll, we'll do face video for um, the Lego stuff. But it's gonna all going to take time. And this is supposed to go like this here. How is that supposed to go on? It shows this brick here. Even with this, okay, this fits right in here. So I bet this is going to be used to line all that up. So you're going to have to kind of wiggle it in a bit here. And then right here, just kind of wiggle it in. I'm going to hold right here really good. And now that ain't going anywhere. That's kind of, 
it's just pieced together and this one doesn't go in anymore see so this one's flopping around this one's not so they use that round brick to kind of space it and then we're building one over here i don't know if these these are not even the same so i'm you know the thing about these style of videos guys and gals is that i get to walk you through it we can walk through it together I notice a lot of these things that I've been doing, a lot of people have been buying sets, and it helps. It helps. Because if I'm getting stuck, I know somebody else will. And they got that round brick here too on this side. Right there. So this little booger goes right here which like I can say just wiggle it in and then just press it down and now that's pushed out it's all secure so that's how they did that I was like that looks kind of crooked but how would they do it now we know that they have the hinges at the bottom I'm not a fan of this little gap at the bottom there but I guess that's the only way they could do oh yuck we got stickers now I knew we were going to get hit, but all right, we're going to, you got to put these on first, and I usually use these, so we know what's going to happen to those stickers, like the fate of those when I'm done, and that sticker's one and two, man, we haven't seen, we haven't even been to that low of a number, of course, I got to go through the three rings of, three things of stickers, green gut bank. Getting these on very straight is a pain in the rear, especially on bricks with bows. And to me, Lego just print the stuff. People will pay more for printed. Yeah, that's how it is. It even shows it in here too. Well, we're slowly nibbling at that one, huh? I'd like to get rid of one sticker sheet. They'll probably all be here until we're done. And you think they would have had a brick or something there to keep these from bouncing. Let me take a look here. They could have fit a whole brick in there. Let me see. No, they could have just fit a an angular plate in there would have been better and they would have locked that in they never did that it's just left open so these are flopping so well, that's kind of silly lego i would have thought of a better way to secure those you have the parts to do it you have angular plates why didn't you use them there i don't know yes i'm nitpicking but that's what the reviews are for I don't know how secure that is pressing that down. It seems like it's pretty solid. And uh, just kind of hold underneath it here. And then there you go. Back. Let me raise this up a little bit more. This time I dropped the tripod, like bottomed it out this time. So just to kind of do things a little differently here. Okay, this piece here, it's just loose. Yeah. This is loose. It just sits here. This corner piece right here. I mean, there's no stud there. Just set it in there, I guess. And then the safest thing to do is to start back where we left off. And let me just do this, because I hate to think I made a mistake there. Stick this here. 
This is just loose. It just sits here. It's not even locked in. I mean, it's just, it's just floating there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's kind of, kind of weird, Lego. What are you doing? I thought there, I'm sure it's probably something that's going to anchor that down, but still. This is anchored down right here with this big tile. I better put the fingers under there. We don't want that to come splitting apart. Then you'll really hear the F-bomb drop. See how it's dark in here now? That's where the lighting is supposed to be. If I had that ring light around this camera, it would be a light right here. And you would, you know, the only thing I'm afraid of is there's, there's gonna be a glare on this, but I mean, you can't stop all of that. So I gotta get the ring light here eventually. And I'll look around today for a ring light and if I buy one I was hoping to find one locally when I'm in town but I went into one of those big box stores and they didn't even know what I was talking about you can type in vlogger light a camera light and they're like oh you want cameras don't give me like a flash cube and I'm like a flash cube I don't need anybody who does flash photography anymore we're all doing everything digitally all right now we're back here all right. These walls are just kind of wiggly right now. Kind of reminds me of this building back in New York. It's kind of pointed. All right. I think we're going to survive through this one today. Not sure what we're doing there yet. I'm sure this is going to be filled in. Okay. Add a little bulkhead above here with the 1x8 flat tile. Got a hole there. Yeah, that uh, that's really kind of piss poor there, huh? But if I pull that out, it's almost like there's something missing here. You know, I think I did something wrong there. And you can only tell so much with this. Let me backtrack here. Okay, I do see a problem that I made a mistake here. All right. We have a spot here that's missing. The front of this looks, uh, all right, let me backtrack this here. Let me line things up. First off, this thing is correct. This, there's a plate in here that's not correct. So before we go any further, we're gonna need to tear some stuff out. I hope it's minimal. Now, like I said before, I could censor these out like the big boys do. Yeah. Right. It shows it right here, but there's supposed to be something in that hole. When I built it, there was nothing. Let's see. I'm gonna back. We're gonna back up here a bit here and find out what's missing. All right. There's supposed to be plates stacked in there. Right here. Let me pop that out and I'll show you. There's supposed to be some plates stacked there. Let me go back to the point where we're at the very beginning here. Here's the doors. And then they show there's absolutely nothing there, but that's what I got. Huh. What does it look like on the inside again? We're here. 
I mean, rather troubleshoot it now than trying to figure out exactly what the creator was doing here. When I build stuff, it's never this elaborate where it doesn't make any sense because a lot of this stuff we're just kind of guessing here. It's missing two plates in here. This is even with the door here. That's fine, and there's two plates. There's only one plate, though. Let me pop this off real quick here. And I'll show you. There's supposed to be something there. Let me backtrack that, because we're here. That's here. But it shows two plates high, and I only got one plate. Stick another plate in there? It's confusing me, that's what it is. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. So, this is correct here. We're missing something. I'm backtrack. I'm going to tear it down here. Um, it could have been that one thing. Oh, okay, I found it. All right, so this piece here is supposed to have this here. And this drops right there. I skipped that. That was my bad. And then, well, at least that wasn't too terribly bad. We didn't have to gut the whole thing. And now I can start uh, putting it back together. That was my mistake there. And then we can put this back in here. Like I said, well, that doesn't go there, huh? Let me look it up here. I bet that's off. It's a nine stud wide spot there, and we only have eight, so I gotta find out exactly. Yeah. They show it. Fine, you wanna move around, huh? I think it goes in the pegs do it does it that might do that that would make more sense I can't really rotate that to see it head-on so I'm assuming that that's supposed to be in the center and you're supposed to have a half a stud here that's just tacked in all right let me put this back on the top here real quick before we forget it we've already made enough mistakes already we don't want to make any more and then now we're back over here on this side here, just for brevity. I'm just going to rotate it where you can see what I'm doing here a bit more. Okay. But like I said, I don't build things this intricate where I'm messing with one by ones and one by twos. I try to avoid one by one plates and bricks as much as I can. And then that's it. We have two studs remaining here. Each. Michael's not that generous, so did we forget something? And like I have said and mentioned, though, I obviously I forgot to put this guy here. There's supposed to be a stud in this. Yeah, let me just kind of pry that up there. Boy, that doesn't even want to budge. And then I'm going to slip this in here. Yeah, this step this step here is a total bitch to do. Because I'm thumbing through the pages because it's not giving me the right angles. Yeah, there's supposed to be a step in there. I don't know where the other tile came from. So don't be surprised if you're building this and you have a bunch of spare parts. Even I will. And I can't even get that in there. It will not even let me slide it in. There's enough space, too. Okay, well, let's rip all the shit off on top then, huh? 
just to correct one mistake, you gotta tear half of it apart. Let's see here. They could have gave me one extra. Let's start back at the beginning would be better. All right. Let's check for round one by one flat tiles. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, if you make mistakes though, it's okay to do it. It's okay to relieve your stress too. <laughs> Use a few bad words, bad choice of words here to, to do it. Some people say that's not good, but I don't care really what people think. I say the I say a bad word because I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated. Okay, so those knobs are supposed to go on the inside of the doors. Yeah, those knobs are supposed to go on the inside. Okay, I must have forgot those too. I mean, if we're going to make, we're going to correct it. Let's do it before we get on to the next step. You know, there's, there's knobs on both sides of the doors. I'm used to doing them on one side of my creations because that's how it is. There we go. And I think that's it. And we don't have anything but just these three. Well, let me get that crap real quick. I just want to get on to my own projects today. And that's what we have remaining. Okay. Let's see how bad this one's going to be. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting build. But... And see how crooked these stickers are back here. Yeah. Honestly, though, like I've mentioned, that's kind of lazy. Lego didn't print all that. And we got small bags in here. That's got me worried. Of small parts. Looks like we're adding siding next, so that should be very easy to do. First, I gotta unbag the 20 million bags that are packed up in the large bag. Okay. Oh, I got a prison door in there. And that's in uh, uh, titanium. Okay. Now we're going to focus our attention here. And looks like we're just covering this up with tiles. And... I am going to say this, you know, I'm very picky on details, but you're going to have different variances of holes in here. It, it's not solid. In addition to the, the faux windows inside, we're going to have this issue too. So these are just barely tacked in there. You know, starting to build this stuff more and more, I'm kind of like, is it really worth it? <laughs> you know, is it really worth that amount? It took five, it took five creators to build this. And just by, some of the features are pretty cool, but it's just like this with all the holes. Like, these are barely tacked in. I mean, I'm a solo builder and I can, and it's sad to say, but I build better. I build more robust. Now I'm trying to find some one by eights, and all I'm finding are one by sixes. See, these are just barely tacked in. There we go. Like I said, though, when I get these sets, I have no clue what what they are, what they involve. It could be something fun. Like, I, I did one of these holiday sets. Of, at the time you're watching, it's probably a week or two back. And those were so fun to put together. They were very relaxing. Really robust builds. And we're getting into stuff like this. Nothing wrong with this. It's an interesting build, but not my style of building here. Um, taking one by threes. 
All right. Yeah, but about that Michael Myers house, I'm hoping to get it done real soon. Actually do the fun stuff. Get out of set mode. Boy, that's only held in there with one stud. Wow. And I, I can never say that I try not to go robust on my builds. I try not to. I try to uh, to reduce the part count, but when it comes to durability, I want you to be able to play with it. i got to find another one of those special plates. It's all white stuff at this point. And I'm going to have to get a container and start putting white pieces in here. It's just too much of it. I'm looking for a 1x4 plate with two studs. On a white table with a bunch of other white parts, it's uh, proven to be a challenge. So we're going to pick all these up until we find it. But um, when I get done with this, though, I'm going to tackle this one building guide. I'm going to finish the rough draft and try to get the final done. I got two manuals that I got to get done real quick. One is, two of them are for September. For September tutorials. And then i going to let the fun stuff begin. All right, so we're building some kind of round thing here. Make two of these. Let's pour it back out again. And I'm just hoping, though, and I notice, like, I haven't been getting a lot of views on tutorials. I think next year I'm going to have to cap the tutorials at 250 bricks or less. Which looks like you'll probably see cars, but campers and stuff will be a, will just be mocks, and there'll be building guides for the mocks. There'll still be video tutorials because the video tutorials are still important, but they will not be released for um, I don't know yet. I just need to uh, think on how I want to do that, so I'm not burning a lot of my free time. I've got it to the point now, guys and gals, to where filming. It's starting to get kind of, uh, you know, tutorials. Filming them is starting to get kind of redundant. And like I said, I may just reduce them down to speed builds real quick, 60 second builds, regardless of the size of the set. And, and trying not to use music and videos is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of modern there. It's more like a modern office building. But the tutorials, though, are... Video tutorials are on, almost on their way out. Everybody and their grandma does... A, everybody and their grandma now does them, and they're just like this. And it's just speed builds. It doesn't do any good. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just use Blender and animate all my builds. <laughs> well, I may as well do that. I may as well just go ahead and write up a printed building guide. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just write up a 3D app to run those building guides. It won't be like Super Mario. It won't be animated. It'll just be like where you just... It'll look like a PDF file, except you can rotate the, the main build around. I don't know yet. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. It's just video tutorials now... When people say it's a tutorial, they don't explain anything. It's, if you're doing a speed build, I wouldn't consider that as a tutorial. There's no instruction. Hey, I'm going to show you how to build this. It's a tutorial. Next thing you know, the piano music starts playing, and it's just like this. And i got to pull these out because I'm looking for another one of these plates with bow. And I'm kind of like, that's not even much of a tutorial. A lot of kitties like that. And my channel is not for children either. None of these channels are. If you're a kid watching these, that's one thing, but I don't target them strictly for that. Yeah, lots of you're getting lots of white tiles and plates in this bag, but when you're trying to find one piece, good luck. <laughs> so I gotta go through and start taking all these out. Until I find it. 
it's not that there's a lot of parts, it's a lot of repetitious stuff. But the colors on this, and I have to give it to the creators, at least they're using more realistic colors for this set. And they can be only seen a handful of, I mean, the only thing bright that we really kind of stare at now is the brick separator, and that's that nice orange color. Halloween colors. Heck, I, you know, I actually have extra spaces for Halloween. Hmm. Kind of got to think in there. What do I do for Halloween? Okay, I see it. Finally. Finally unburied it. I don't know what the stud's for, but see how this is kind of flimsy? Falling around here. I can't get this lined up. That is what I am saying. It's just tacked in. You never see me build like that ever. Unless I know it's going to be sandwiched in between a bunch of other parts. All right, now we're going to pull all that back out again because we're going to need more white parts. This time I don't need, I just need threes and fours. I need to make seven of these boogers. We're going to start up here, put that there. And now I just got to fill in the remainder areas. And I think these slopes are supposed to wrap around there next. But we haven't gotten that far yet. So what else do I have left to do in terms of video content for the year? I already talked about it. I got five vehicles, a kitchen, and a house that I want to work on. I may not even get to all that this year, to be honest. It's just putting a house together. Um, houses are not too bad to film. That's kind of why I'm trying to get all the lighting. <laughs> so we can have a better look at things. And the tripod that I had found, I cannot find the adapter to connect the light or a camera to it. So it may end up going into the landfill. Because without this little plastic adapter that connects the camera to the tripod, the tripod is just a it's just a it's just a piece of garbage. So and that's probably why it was broke and I took it out of service. And well that being said, let me go back through this again now. I have to really think on Now, how am I going to do that there? All right, so put this here, and this goes right here. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to fix. For. Oh, yeah, today's the, um, I think it's the 18th of October, or August. I wish it was October. My mind's already getting ready for winter. Alright, so now we take the angular plates. And mine is so far we've just been working just on this side here with mostly white. <laughs> a lot of these other colors, and I've just been messing with white. There's a lot more tiles, so I'm assuming we're going to be hitting that other side soon. But back to the Halloween stuff though. I'm short two videos for Halloween. And now, since I thought about the last one, just in my mind now, that would give me three. I just need to pick two. And I'd like to squeeze a, video, uh, a, a vehicle out during Halloween. So, well, that just kind of does, doesn't want to line up there. That's done. Yes, we go on this side now. We work over here. 
and it's just 12 of these 1x6s. But um, I'd have to look at my notes. I have notes written down for what I need to get done for Halloween. And yeah, I mean, that's just, uh, just sitting on there. A lot of parts are tacked. I've been writing down a summary of notes from the review. I hadn't even edited any of these uh, uh, videos yet for this at all. Like, I haven't even gotten to them. Like, I'm still working on reviews for the dream stuff. And then once I'm done with that, then I start tackling this one. So remember, the unboxing is tacked on, too. This is just a reminder for myself. As the unboxing is tacked on to the first installment series on this. It may be well over two hours. <laughs> we don't know yet. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of yeah, just not not to my not my cup of tea here. And we have two normal columns here. I sure love these hollow studs. They always come in handy when you need them. all banged up yeah but I think I need to focus on that ring light next before I start worrying about the I mean I do need to get a new camera but I already have the other one if it comes to that but I think honestly I need to focus on lighting and then for the video camera a handheld a new 4k handheld I'll focus on that when need be. But I'm going to have to read up on a lot of specs. Make sure I, I want to know how close can I get up to a, a subject or an object. And that kind of thing. So I've learned a lot since I've been doing all this. You learn as you, as you go. right above the door. Oh, we're, I was going to say we're missing a piece. So these are kind of loose. And I do have a video series on how to off, outset your doors and windows. Yep, something else that falls, and it's always something small, and it falls right in the w tangles of wires. <laughs> it's starting to look more like a studio in here than anything else. Some of these guys will do a complete tour of their Lego rooms, and it's like, yeah, but they have a whole entire studio area where I still have done, really haven't, imp I haven't improved much over the years in terms of this stuff. But I'm hoping that'll change eventually. Just lining up all these one by ones. All right. And then after we're done with that, we're on step 129. Okay. You want to talk about tacking in pieces. We're tacking in pieces on these one by ones. Like literally. Oh, okay, we don't have any more left. Like, we're setting these on here. The one on the top, you got a guide. 
But here, they're going to look kind of crooked. So you're going to have to line those up as best you can. Uh, you know, at least they're using big parts. That one down there is not too terribly bad. But these right here, not so much. You can see we're getting these different spaces here. This may have to take the brick separator. First, let me get them put on first. Yeah, this is something that's not going to look too appealing, huh? So I'm just going to do this. Take the edge of the brick separator. There you go. And that's what they did. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that at all, but, you know, what can you do? Oh, now I'm missing a 1 by 3 Oh, there it is. have that fall on the ground. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad concept, but it's just kind of... The way it's put together and executed is just horrible. And then now we're going to be focusing in here. Now, you're going to have a better view than I am. Right here. So I'm trying to get it to where you can see it more than I can. You put your stud at the bottom here and set that down in there. Oh, these are not too bad of steps here. Just okay. We're finally graduating. We're using different colors now, and I can always use one by three bricks. This set at least has got plentiful of those. Hopefully, it does. I don't think I have any of these type of bricks though. And sand yellow. One of these has got a is printed. Coming to think of it, I, oh here they are. You know, this is printed? Holy shit! Wish I had more of those. Those would make great columns. If that was, yeah, those would make great columns for like maybe um, like one of those ancient cities that you that the, the um, excavator excavators dig up out of the side of a mountain or something. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I just need to get a whole bunch of those, huh? Different styles. I looked at it that way. Are you kidding me? There's something printed in here, right there. You know, I mean, there it is. And then there's something we got. We know the film makes. <clears throat> excuse me. We know the filmmakers put a lot of time and effort into creating the beautiful marble pillars in the interior of the bank. So we wanted to design a new decorated element to recreate them. Yeah. You've only, you've only decorated, what, one or two pieces in this whole set so far. The rest of it has been stuckified. Stickified. Okay, now we are here. All right. They have this sitting on here. Why don't they just use a regular 2x2? Two two? Are we trying to cut down part lots, Lego? <laughs> Jay, you nitpick way too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can always use one of those mini figureheads. It's solid. We got the frog in here as an ornament. Yeah. 
think his eyes are printed on. Can't really tell. And this goes here, offset there, and then there's one piece that goes here. Um, we need that. I hope I can get the set done by Christmas time, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then this goes, tucks in back here like that. I guess we're trying to fill in behind that corner. Not a bad building strategy, too. Okay. Okay, well, this has got an arch in here. Okay, and then we need this, which goes right here. There's something that went timber. Even took the stud out too at the bottom. Yeah, that's barely, it's only held in there with one stud. One stud, Lego. I swear the base on this thing is probably more robust than the bank. Watch the bank disintegrates when we're building it, but we didn't really have anything fall off the big thing. Shame. All right, so now we got a prison door, and I have a feeling this is left open back here, so this is not going to be something you're going to drop in your city, so it's not going to be quite prepared for that. And then we have the prison door. And what's next? Well, there's a sticker coming up. I see that definitely. And then we got to deface this. I don't have a lot of sand yellow tiles, so that will get ripped off when we're done. And that's sticker number 11. Alrighty. I found it. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Does it matter which way? So this goes in here. Kind of a drafty door for that, isn't it? It's really a drafty door for the bank. You'd think they'd be putting stickers all over these column bricks. I do this too. Sometimes if I don't want to use a regular one by two brick, I'll just fill it with something else. The problem with that is it gets kind of sloppy. Sometimes it just degrades the build down. So it looks like the creators were getting kind of lazy here in terms of what bricks they should be using, unless they're trying to go for different types of building materials. But still, although it's a lot better than using regular bricks, but. I'm just nitpicking again. Wait a minute, I messed up. That's supposed to go there. All right. I'm 
I bet there's an arch. Yes, there is. Let's say we're notched out for an arch. Arch goes here. Now, does that door even open up? Yes, it does. And then two of these are up here. See how I'm filming and reaching over here like this? This is how I don't want to do tutorials. That's why I need a consumer grade camera to do that. Wait, did I make a boo-boo? Was I not supposed to put... Okay, it was only supposed to be one there. I'm not even paying attention. Hold on, let me take those out. It's kind of weird. All right, so they got this going this way. I wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. But see, this back here just wants to fall out. And there's actually an arch back here, too. I just kind of been skipping steps. I just want to get back to my own, uh, my own things right now. Yeah, that means it's, I'm starting to get bored of the build. But I do not recommend anybody to sit down and do this in one sitting. There'll be no way. For sanity purposes, don't do it. <laughs> All right, now we're getting down to where it's just a handful of parts left, like literally. Put a hinge right here. Lock that corner in. So they use these clear tiles to put right where the hinge is at. So they're trying to fill that in there. Not a bad idea, but... I mean, is it really necessary to just use a transparent one? I ought to use something matching that, but I don't think they have any of these parts in that color, so they just use clear. Hmm, don't want that falling behind there. I don't want to have to fish that out. <sighs> All right. I need to get a bunch of these type of bricks here. I've only seen a handful of them in these sets. And then the last palisade goes up here, just tacks with one stud. And these three by three things, three by three plates. Does this door even open up? Yes, it does. Okay, I was making sure. I just wasn't really, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> All right, and we have the track pieces here. Do they go up against the edge? Yes, they do. But I'm supposed to have a one by one in there opening. Okay, I see. Not supposed to put that right in the center there. And then we fill the two areas remaining here with some one by one plates. And we actually have one piece remaining here. This. So now where's that missing at, huh? Right there. It's a good way to catch now, huh? And you're telling me out of all that, that's all we had remaining <laughs> for bag 18. Let's ramp up the build with 19. Okay. And I wonder what we're going to be working. Oh, we got another minifigure coming up. Spoiler alert. Ooh, these come in, these come in medium nougat now? Oh. I got uses for those. Just never had them at the time. I always had to use plain boring white or tan for it. Now I got medium nougat. And we got another thing to read here. Over the years, ownership and control of the bank have 
Shift between goblins and the Ministry of Magic. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just do the figure real quick. Matter of fact, he's pretty easy. We'll just go ahead and continue on until we find all his parts. There we go. That's enough for the figure. And it was weird enough. Why don't they just... Uh, for the other bag, why don't they just put this one last piece? We're still over here. And we have to put one piece in there. And... Why didn't you just include this in the last bag, Lego? I don't get that. Boy, that's kind of sloppy there. Okay, now we got to build something like this. Not sure what we're building here. Okay. Well, this looks familiar. Anybody remembers that masonry brick wall I built probably about 10 years ago, a little building exercise. We didn't have all these cool parts. I can never make a strong one. Well, now, Lego, with all their new pieces, you can do just that. And we got to go up six levels, too. At least it's big parts. This set here has got some small stuff in there, but nothing, like, really tiny. I'm hoping not. Because now with the big pieces, you can breeze through it here. Hoping you can see it here. You know, why don't I sit behind the camera? Because this camera is about a foot in white. I don't want to have to throw out a bunch of muscles to strain over to <laughs> reach. That sounds like I'm lazy, but I just don't feel like doing that right now. Yeah, it's been getting hot here again. It's like miserable, like 100 and something, like 112 or something like that. With this tropical storm, it's supposed to hit us. This hurricane is supposed to bring a lot of humidity and stuff, which is going to be kind of yucky, but flip on the dehumidifier. Make sure I have a couple gallons of diesel unless I lose power out here. Oh, this one's changed a bit, so you got to bump this one out by a little bit here. You never know when you lose power, so I'm making sure I have some stuff for that. I got a couple of solar panels and stuff like that. Okay. Now you gotta cake this whole face with One by six flat tiles. Just leave this flat here. It'd be easier so I don't have to feel like I'm going to break it here. And they're just tacked in there. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Lego, you have all these parts and these colors. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it unless we're just trying to save parts or something. That's the beauty about becoming a mock builder, is you can just use whatever. You can dump as much money as your wallet will allow you in a build. And that's one of the fears, if I ever put, put my stuff on Lego Ideas. And Lego says, we want to make an idea of your build. you got to have 10,000 supporters. And I remember when I put the Michael Myers house on there, they rejected it years ago. There was a bunch of stuff that the Lego enthusiasts have rejected. And now they're like, hey, I saw this on your ideas page. You have a building guide. I'm like, yep. It's a rough guide. It's in stud. Oh, well, would you mind giving it to me? I'm like, 
No. I'll sell it to you, though. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I messed up. Got to take at least half of this apart. Um, there was actually supposed to be more to it than this. I thought it was a match on both sides. No, it's not. We got to pull all that off. At least I have the parts. I don't have to hunt for them. All right. Well, at least it wasn't cake on there that bad. Okay, I have to pry all this apart here. And then I have to come in here and do this. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and correct this now. Like that. Okay. And then, split it apart here. We'll just swap that out real quick. The thing about doing this style of videos is it's uncut. If you make a mistake, we can troubleshoot it. Yeah, I don't want to have to take something all apart. Well, here, let's figure out how we not have to take it all apart. It's only going to set us off by a minute, but who cares? At the end of the day, that's why you don't glue your stuff together. Imagine if that was glued together. My goodness, you wouldn't be able to get that apart. All right, we fixed that now. wasn't too bad, but you can just see that the different colors behind there just, I don't know, it just kind of bothers me. OCD, I guess, or autism, one of the two. Just don't like the way that looks, but we're, we're going to have to deal with it. Now I can proceed on. Unless this goes on the back side of the bank and this thing is sealed up. That would be so epic if it is, and you could just drop this right in your city. In fact, this would make a great corner modular here. They would just have, if it's finished off on the back side, you could practically just tweak this build up a little bit, put a regular sidewalk in front of it, you know, get rid of the cobble stuff, and then you can have yourself part of a modular. All right. All right, so there we go. Well, no, it's not that. It just goes right here. But I think there's more to this that connects to this, though. I think it, you're supposed to buy more modulars or something. Well, this is not even spaced for modulars. It could be. So this goes right... Okay, fine. Let's throw it all on the ground then. It's, it's like that right there. But, man, that's kind of a tight corner in there. Well, I need these, but guess what? You know exactly what's going on those. All right, 30 and 31. I gotta hunt for the sticker sheet. These are kind of just irregular. So we're gonna start with the, the posters first. And you just drop these on here. I like these type of stickers. Why? Because they're just random, and you just set them on there. <laughs> you know, just set them right on there. And then... 30. Like that. Just set them on there. You don't have to worry about how good they are. And there you go. Well, we're getting fun with that sheet, aren't we? We haven't got rid of one sheet of stickers yet, but I can definitely use these. Wait a minute. We're missing something here. Let me pop these panels off because unfortunately I gotta put a column in there. What, this one didn't get a sticker? Wow. Fill it all in. I don't know what we're going to do about that, but this right here looks sloppy. Yes, I guess you can con call me a Lego condensor. Because basically that's what I'm doing. 
I had somebody ask me years ago, would I ever do reviews on mocks? No. <laughs> you know, because I don't know what's going on in the mind of another mock builder. A mock builder may see one thing where I'll see another, and that's where our ideas will conflict. So I will never review another person's mock, ever. I will never say, hey, what were they thinking, or why did they do this? Because I don't know why. Especially when the piano music's playing at full blast. Okay, we got to build two columns, and they go right here. So, now we're getting down to the small stuff. I have not even found the head for that guy yet. I don't know where that's at. We'll find it eventually. Who's all ready for fall? I am. Well, no, in Australia, I think they're hitting middle of winter right now. That in New Zealand, I think. Imagine over there in Australia, it's probably real cold and foggy. Where's my buddy from Australia? He'll probably correct me on it. He goes, oh, no, Jay, it's hot over there. Oh, you don't want to be over here right now. <laughs> I know over there in the outback, though, we're used. It wouldn't be too bad over there, except in the outback in Australia. I know that it depends on where you're at. I'm sure they got wildlife over there that's not too friendly. So, we're just going to, they say build these separate, but I'm going to just build them like this. Probably regret it later on and mess up. Well, I guess I found that part for it. Uh, kind of flimsy at the bottom, so be careful. They're not the most stable thing. And then... This one will go here on this jumper plate. We got one more to build here. Okay. Alrighty, we're getting there. I need one more of these. I see it. We still haven't found your head yet, sir. I don't know where it went. We found your hair and everything else. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is, way in the back. He's holding a coin, though, too. Yeah, I don't know what face he's on. We'll put him in the more monotone face. And then... These are nice wig pieces. I just wish they didn't have the... Uh, Pointy ears on it, they make great for uh, sick figs. So we got him done finally. We got the column done. So he can just sit here and admire the column with his coins. Okay, and that's it for the for the coin or the columns. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to look at those ring lights today and see what I can do. Even if I get it, I'll have to fabricate a part. Either get my friend who does uh, who does metal work or uh, 3D print something. Maybe I'll have somebody who will just fabricate a part for me. Or I can fabricate it myself if I have the time. A lot of things you guys and gals really don't know. <laughs> I fabricate. If I need a part, other than Lego, like something that I need to have machined for me, either I can do it if I have access to the tools or I hire someone to do it. So 
always good when you have access to the tools. All right, we got to do another sub step here. All right, this is probably something that's going to be very tricky, so let me start following this one very closely here. Let me tilt this more over here for you. And wait a minute, that doesn't go there. I knew it was going to be tricky. It was trying to trick me there. Caught it. Okay. And we got a back butter of this. Okay. We're not building two of those. I'm making sure. <laughs> All right, let's see here. A four, a one, and a three. Or a four, one, and a two. Four. One there, and the two is supposed to hang over. I would have had the four hang over, but uh, that's just my building preference, I guess. You know, I never understood these plates right here, but they do come in handy for all sorts of stuff, especially if you need a one by four plate with a groove on the side. Very handy part to have. Kind of flimsy, huh? Well, it's flimsy, but we're going to have to put it on here. It goes up here like this. Now, is there a gap there? Okay, it goes halfway to, through this tile right here. So, I'm trying to tack it down. Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. There's supposed to be a one-by-one one opening in that area. Let's take a look at the on the inside here. That's what it looks like right there. And yeah, if you want to take a nap here, you go take a nap inside the bank with your coin. See how Lego stacks all these and they show the last one going on here? Yeah, I do that too in mine. Um, it used to be for just show arrows between the whole, all six bricks. The problem with that was it would take so much space in the building guide, I just started just to shortcut it. I thought, well, man, I mean, if I'm sure anybody can understand, you're going to need to stack six of those on top of one another. As long as you get to see the lines, you know what you're going to need there. And then, what's next? A one by two flat tile. Yeah, well, I cannot find it. I got a two by two. And there it is. And then this goes right here, on this side right there. Now I think we got one more piece here to make. You see a bunch of this stuff here now. It must be the back of alley or something right here. That's a lot of people don't put in their cities as alleys. With like dumpsters, graffiti styled up walls, trash about, you know, those type of things. Why don't they do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have a city, so I can't talk, but still. And... And then this goes here. Yeah, the turntable makes this stuff so much easier to take a look at things. You really can't. There it is. Right there. Alright. Are we still working in the same area? 
Yeah, but this is like a keystone type thing. Okay. Handful of parts left. Can I survive without pulling my hair out? I think I can, huh? I know I can. Alright. And then this goes right here. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm glad now I checked that. I made a boo-boo like that. They need to make a one-by-one palisade brick. I don't know why they haven't yet. And the closest equivalent we have today is a round brick, but it just has a different type of look to it. And that takes care of that. And then we rotate it around. And then we're back in here. In this area here. I gotta put something above the door. So this installment, we're just raising up the walls. That's essentially what we're doing. We just raised up the walls. And the two by two tile goes down here. Right in that little hole right there. And then, now, I'm back over here again. Still kind of, kind of, well, it's hard to say though with this wiggly uh, turntable. We're getting there though. All we have now is plates left. <laughs> Probably the last step for the day. And then we're just going to have to plate off the top here. Yeah, lawn day was yesterday, yesterday. No, it was Wednesday. And I still hear the lawn mowers. <laughs> Everyone who gets the yards done at different times. Don't forget your track pieces in here. Is there a hole there? Or is that just not going to go in? There we go. Wow, I'll show you here. That's pretty much a tight corner there, huh? Nothing's bowing or anything, and it does move, so that's pretty, uh, that's pretty much a tight fit there for that. Well, we ended evenly, so there we go. And this is where we're wrapping up here. I see bag 20. We're not going to tackle that one. Because I got personal stuff I got to get done right now, but we have one of these left. Wait a minute, this goes in the middle. All right, right here's what we're focusing on right now. Yeah, this is more of a mock than it is like a Lego idea set than it is a, a designer set for me by designers. And that's it for bag 19. And that's it for the installment. So I think three more bags and we will have the, this first floor done. Here's what, here's what we have remaining for the stickers. I'm going to show you just in case we somebody forgets. We all know I will. And this one here. Yeah, we don't have a lot left on any of these really. Well, that one's almost empty. And let's see here. I want to take a look at the beginning of the book here real quick. So step bag 20. Um... Yeah, 2021-22 finishes up the whole first floor. So it looks like we're missing the vault that goes here. Something goes here. 
And yeah, despite of all the mistakes I was being careless in making today, that's not too bad of a bill. And I still need to find that goofy tripod thing. I'm going to see if I can find it so I can get the light set up in here when I do the tour. If not, well, I'll have to think of something. <laughs> uh, this is what it is. I don't have that light because I'm using the laptop and I'm already using the outlet over here. Um, I'll set him down right here. So for this installment, we just worked on pretty much the exterior walls of the bank. And I think this is meant to be an alley. Something is attached, something, something attaches here. So I don't know what you would attach to that. Matter of fact, this is nine studs away from this brick. We have three, six, nine. I bet you anything, I'd have to look, but I think a modular would just snap right into this. So something goes here. Maybe you're meant to buy two banks or something. Or there's a continuation. Or we're, not, we're not done with it yet. This is what it looks like here. It doesn't show us behind there. Okay, it doesn't show us what's behind here. I'm going to gather, though. That's just opened. Well, we're a long ways away from that. We, we won't know for a while. But tell me what you think so far. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool in what it looks like. But, yeah, so far I'm happy with the build. Uh, not so much of the style of building that they were using in here, but for the overall what it looks like. Yeah, this is pretty detailed. Tell me what you think.